Sometimes you just can't save everyone. There's not been a more appropriate hint for me in this game. What's up, everybody? I am that role-playing ginger, and we are back with more Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. I've been reading the comments, and yes, I've I've basically I understand that it's taking like the system isn't as fluid as Pillars of Eternity, and that the AI isn't as enhanced. And I'm gonna try and treat this game. I'm gonna try and keep playing this game w with less comparison to Pillars of Eternity, and it's it, I it's tricky for me because there's so much to pay attention to when it's going in real time because I don't want to have to stop pause every single turn-based setting but I might have to if I feel if I feel like I'm gonna have to if I'm going to survive I need to figure out yeah turn-based mode so I'm gonna go into turn-based mode and we're gonna see how this plays out because this will give me more active control over the scenario so I'm gonna see how it plays out with this because it's action mode is is causing me to get some frustrations, as you may have seen in the previous two episodes. But yes, I am continuing on where I left off last time. So we just defeated a necromancer who was raising a bunch of ghoul or zombies and whatnot. We killed the zombies. Uh, we rested. I don't know if we were able to to lower our um our what was it called corruption level or keep it maintained, but. I feel like we're pretty much set to keep moving on. I was on a quest around here, the Market Square. Oh, I was trying to get inside of the, uh... Inside of the place where the, the wealthy guy was hiding. The cellar area. I believe. Because I found his, uh, servant. And his servant pointed out where to go. I like... In games like this, the the functionality that they typically assign to the tab button, I've noticed, where it highlights interactive interactive things, because it in the old ones they didn't really have that, but I feel like it was easier when the oh hello, all right, round one, ready for battle, nice. Uh, so I want her to attack him. This is. So she's gonna attack. Uh, ghoul's turn. Oh no. Oh, attack of opportunity. Very nice. Ember, I want Ember to take that ghoul. Get it some damage. Nice, because I don't want Nenio getting hurt. Because I love Nenio. Uh, and then she's going to... Hopefully I click this and she won't... Um double move. Like, use up her turn next. There we go. And for your Blood Raven, my character, I can finish off this ghoul if I can hit it. Away, you rascal. Good. I don't want Nenio getting hit. Um, and then I'm going to move... here. And that'll be it. Sela is going to take some time to get over there because it's two turns. Because no she is slower. Ghoul. Provoked. Nice. Oh, they're going for Nenio. Why are they going for her? Why, Nenio? What did you do to piss them off? It's because you're a mage, aren't you? They know it. Uh, can she cast... Oh, what is it? Um, there was a feat. There was a feat in Pathfinder uh, First Edition that let you have a bonus to your casting. I think it was just called cast Casting Defensively, and I don't know if she has that feat. Because I haven't really taken the time to, like, look. Um, Create Pit, Dismiss Spell, Ray of Frost. If I cast any of these, she's going to provoke, I believe. And if I move, she's going to provoke. Unless I'm going to 5 foot shift. Can I 5 foot shift this way? Dang it. I didn't get to shift. I tried clicking that and nothing happened with it, so I don't know why that happened. But it looks like she didn't take much damage, so that's good. Alright. Um, create an extra dimensional hole with a depth of 10 feet per two caster levels. Uh, since Pit expends an 
another dimension. The pit has no weight and does not otherwise displace the original underlying material. You can create the pit in the deck of a ship as easily as uh, any... I was reading that. I have to expand it. How do I expand it? I pressed that. Shift. Oh, shift and down. There we go. Um, all creatures fall into it, take falling damage. So she might be able to actually... Let's see how big this pit is. No, I want to use the... I want to use pit spell. Okay. Because I don't want... There we go. That'll get both of them. <laughs> they both fell in the hole. Land can't hit them because they're in extra dimensional space. So Lan is going to hang out. Oh crap, there was another ghoul over there, I forgot. Miss, miss, miss! Very nice. Oh, I'm actually liking the turn based more because I can see the dice rolls. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm more able to do things. Boom! She crit him! She crit it! Oh, awesome. <laughs> Are they just like still dying in there? Is there another ghoul somewhere? That I can't I can't do anything right now, so I'm gonna have you go over here. And then end your turn. I'm gonna have me scoop back and end my turn. I want Sela I don't want her to slip into the hole, so hopefully she doesn't No! <laughs> she fell right in. I'm just gonna have to wait until the pit's done, because the can't there's nothing else I can do. There's no more ghouls. And it's not letting me get out of the combat. Oh my god. You know what? No, land, don't go that way. You go this way. And sit around. Camellia, I want you to go this way. And then I want you to go this way. Because <laughs> I'm keeping you well out of there. There's the ghouls. I found them. They're over there. Alright. Uh, can I hit it from here? Nice. Did it hit it? No, it's not even ghoul. That's a zombie. Very nice. So we brought the zombies into the fight. Oh, uh, no. I ain't going that way around there. I have to move closer to shoot it. So I'm going to move over to here. Um, I'll double move. Why not? All right, this is, I'm feeling more confident with the turn-based than the action scenario. Hopefully Nenio does not fall into her own pit. Okay, good. How far can she go? She can go all the way over there. Very nice. There was a way to make it faster, I believe, but I'm not positive. All right, we got zombies coming after Camellia. Land, can he pot shot it from here? He has to move, but then he can. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Boom! Oh, another zombie. A shadow. Oh, God, that's not good. Don't like shadows. Don't like shadows at all. Uh, Ward. Mm. What is Ward? Is it a swift? It's a standard action. It's weird. In the, in the game, it was a swift action, I think. Um. Oh, well. You know what we can do? I'm gonna have Camellia attack the shadow to draw its attention. She's gonna make she's gonna make her a little more vulnerable to that zombie, but I don't. She can't hit it. Oh no! Is it like? Is her weapon not magic, and that's why? Okay, I guess. Weird. Very weird. Good thing the zombies are slow. Can you shoot that thing? Can't ear piercing scream it. Vulnerability. Make our enemies vulnerable to energy. Energy's resistance. Ah, uh, it doesn't need that. So let's try and shoot it. A miss. Alright. Amphoria. I don't wanna I don't wanna have that set as auto then. Um Can I I have I have channel energies. Channel positive energy to heal the living. I need to check my um my no 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 um i need to check my spell book because if i have the ability to heal the living i should have the ability to damage the undead because it's positive energy there it is um i need to equip that though how do i equip 
equip that ability. Oh, I just gotta... That's right. I'm a not smart person. And I like that I have the multiple rows on this, which is good. Um, I just need to figure out how to have my ability set here, which is weird. I can't remember how I did that before. I know I've done it before, because that's how I organized this thing. Um, I don't want to daze it. I want to channel energy to hurt the undead, because if I can channel energy... Yeah, I can get both that zombie and that in there, so I'm going to figure that out real quick. Alright, I'm back. I forgot it was these tabs right here. We have spells, abilities, and... What, bonus? Or usable items? So yeah, I, I've allocated some of my... I allocated this to be my main heal bar. So I've got my two channel, my channel, and my and my damaging channel, and my heals over here, and then up here is some other abilities that I got. So I'm going to go ahead and channel positive energy to wound the undead. So hopefully that did a little bit. Yeah, it did, it did some damage. Is that the raven right there? Did some damage. I'm going to stay right where I'm at. Uh, Nenio, I need Nenio to help out with some things. I want that shadow dead. Um, this is a level one magic missile. What if I click on the? I can. There we go. Arcane bond object. Restore. Oh, okay. So that's just a special ability. Um, she only has, I think, the one. Does she have second level magic missiles? She does not. Oh wait, I don't think magic missiles upgrades like that in uh, this. It's um, for every two caster levels. That's right. It automatically does it like that. It's I'm I'm thinking five e. Ignore that. I want her to hit that thing. So definitely gonna use magic missile. Uh, she did. Oh, she has two missiles. Nice. Nine damage to it. I want that shadow gone because I feel like it's gonna be a lot of problems later. Uh, zombies are gonna move. They might be able to reach Camellia. Whew. Okay, they didn't. Um. Land can fire twice at it. Hopefully he can kill it. If he can kill it, then she can turn and take that zombie. Me. Is it dead? It's not dead. It still has like one hit point left. Oh no. Oh, it got her. Okay. Oh, it does, it's, oh, it does strength drain. That's why I wanted that thing gone. Um, she missed. Oh, she's not doing great. Oh, I can't ever do anything else right now then. Um, I could have her enchant ability damage. Oh no, yeah. Ability damage is also something I l actually liked in uh, Pathfinder and uh, 3.5e because it made the game, like, it was another hard way to survive the game. It made things frustrating for people to, like, keep track of, but as a DM myself, I, I kept myself focused on that so that my players didn't have to. Uh, looks like I can get that all three of those guys now, so I'm going to do another one of these. Hope get rid of that shadow. Boom! Shadow's gone. Uh, Camellia is fine. She hasn't taken any damage. She's just got the minus to the strength. And if she gets to zero, she can no longer move. Hey, Sela! <laughs> Sela's back. Sela, I'm going to have you spend your turn trying to get to that guy. <laughs> Oh, the ghoul's back, too! Crap! Don't hit, don't hit. Oh, thank god. Um, ah, uh, that ghoul needs to go. She doesn't have any more magic missiles prepared, though. Uh, she's got a snowball. Oh, wait, she's got, uh, these. She's got these cantrips. Um, they won't do much, though. Color spray. Snowball. 1d6 points of cold damage per caster level. So she's gonna go ahead and spend that to get rid of the ghoul. Because I don't want to get hit. Oh, she missed! Crap. Not cool. Lan, uh, need you to take this guy down. Thanks, Lan. Lan the hero, just like in the old game. <laughs> just like when I ran it. You are Boom! Oh, oh, God, yeah, she's got no... She's not doing great because of her strength being lowered. The zombie's got a smagger. Oh, uh, Ember. Uh, actually, Ember, she's fine still. She didn't take too much damage. I have a Lesser Restoration somewhere. Burning Hands. Lesser Restoration, I believe, can get rid of the Strength Damage, but it can't get rid of Strength Drain. At least that's how I remember it. Uh, so I'm going to have her take a shot at the zombie. Uh, missed the zombie. 
I am going to... You know what? I'm going to move closer. I'm going to damage the undead. One zombie down. And this one's about to go. No glory without Boom! There we go. Yeah, I'm doing much better in the turn base, so I'm probably going to keep it as turn based. Your Have Nenio take a shot. Boom! Zombie died. Nenio rocking it with a crossbow. My god. Alright, everybody gather up. Gather up, gather around. Want to make sure we're all good. Let's see. Do I? I have a lesser restoration, I believe. Light of the angels. I probably didn't prepare it though. Stabilize, dismiss spell, touch of fatigue, daze, divine zap. Oh, it's first level or second level. Oh, I did not get it. That's right. I chose to get hold person instead. She have lesser restoration. No. She's got some abilities, though. Demoralize. <laughs> nice. I love the demoralize in Old Pathfinder. It's also pretty fun in 5e if you make a character that's whole purpose is demoralizing. Lore, religion. I think I did it. A dug up the dug up graves and other clues indicate that a necromancer has re recently conducted a, uh, eh, a ritual here. So I'm wondering if it's the same necromancer or if it was... Oh, nice. A throwing axe. Very nice. I'll take that. Or if it was uh, another one, because it's going to be Demon Apocalypse, there's going to be some necromancy going on. Demons do a lot of necromancy in the Pathfinder setting. You know, actually in uh, a lot of settings. In World of Warcraft, demons are the creators of necromancy. Alright. Feeling much more confident in the turn base. Curl. Curl, a short hooded figure, is poking about some bodies lying in the middle of the street. The stranger drags the first body off the road, respectfully props it against a wall, and places the corpse's hand on its chest. The figure then freezes as if hesitating, and you see him reach out his hand towards a beautiful gold amulet hanging around the corpse's neck. He jerks his hand back, hesitates, then reaches out again. Looting corpses? No. Hey, who are you and what are you doing here? The stranger almost jumps out of his skin and the hood falls from his head. Under a mop of red curls, a round halfling face looks up at you. Oh, Phil, I thought you were demons. C good day to you, good lady. Sela's eyebrows lift in apparent surprise. Curl? Is that you? The halfling looks at Sela and smiles broadly. Oh, lady Sela, you're alive. Goodness me, that's the second bit of good news on an otherwise lousy day. Sela, what was the first bit of good news? Stick around and you'll see for yourself. Uh, do you know this person? Meet Rimvi, better known as Curl. He hails from Canabras and he fights the, in the Condemned. He's one of the kind, a rogue with a heart of gold, she smiles and adds a little more seriously. Curl, it's probably none of my business, but you should ask yourself if you were, if what you were about to do is right. The halfling's cheeks flush and he hides his hands behind his back. Uh, I didn't, I, I just thought, oh, it doesn't matter. Can you tell me anything useful about what's going on? I'm afraid not, good lady. I just left Defender's heart. Before that, I was holed up in there, too scared to leave. Although spending all that time under Commander Erebeth's nose sure was something. She's a strict one. Whew. And when she gets antsy... Are you robbing corpses? No, the halfling protests. Rimvy Curl may be a rogue, but he doesn't loot corpses. I just need to get these poor lads' bodies off the road. My friend and I are on a terribly important mission, and we need to get through. Really? Horses? Oh! He is interrupted by the sound of wheels rolling on the paving stones. A cart is drawn by a sad little horse. Or a cart drawn by a sad little horse appears from the corner. A petty, a pretty half-elf is driving it, and a young man in knight's armor is walking alongside. Even from a distance, you can see his tanned face and his blue eyes shining brightly. Where's the pretty half-elf? Oh, half-elf. I was thinking halfling. My bad. The halfling straightens up. See? A terribly important and very heroic mission. My friends and I are saving the beer cart from the demons. <laughs> oh my god, this is great. <laughs> Elan of the Hound Hearts. As he's speaking, the newcomers notice you, and the knight cries out in jubilation, Sela, I never thought I'd see you again. I thought you were headed out to the main square, to the center of the demon's attack. The half-elf smiles warmly at Sela. Uh, Janna. Hey, friend. It's good to see you're all right. When we got separated by a crowd at the celebration, I knew right away that something was wrong. And when demons appeared all of a sudden, I realized I, that, was the per that was the reason why I'd been so anxious. 
but I couldn't find you among the dead in the square, so I kept my hopes up, and I was proved right. Sela's face lights up with joy. So you're the other bit of good news Curl was talking about. You and Jenna are alive. Actually, by good news, I mean we found the beer cart. Sir Ellen. Elon? Ellen? I'll do Ellen. Sir Ellen and Jenna are being alive amounts to a quarter of a bit of good news. Well, maybe half. A beer cart? How about sharing with us? Absolutely. The half-elf winks rakishly, or rakishly. Certainly. Give me your flask, friend. If you walk with us to the Defender's Heart, we can have more thorough sampling of the spoils there. Despite the cheerful tone, she looks at you with anxious hope. I got some ale. Very nice. Jenna, there's no need. The heart is very close, and the three of us will be enough to fight off an attack if there is one. Besides, our friends here surely have better things to do. More important things than carrying barrels of beer, I'd wager. Uh, no, he wasn't trying to rob the corpse. He might have been, but he t he said he wasn't, and I don't have any reason to doubt him. Um, I'm gonna just, I have to go. So long, we're sure to meet again, either in the city or at Defender's Heart. Sure you will. Come to the tavern, we'll celebrate a valiant rescue of this barrel together. Awesome. Oh, so I did see this quest. Very cool. Did I get, I got experience for that? Very nice. All right. Um, so yeah, let's keep moving on. So we got Sela's quest taken care of. That's the button. Um, I am in... I messed these ones up, so I wasn't able to do those. Which means when I go through on another character eventually, I do want to try and get... I want to try and 100% this, because that's just how I play games. Um, yeah, so... Those are complete quests. So I finished Devoured by Darkness and Day of the, or Day of the City. Uh, divided City is passed, Secret Passage passed, Days of Strife. Um, it should show... Because that was the quest I just did. Okay, so those... Okay, so that won't show completed ones if I click that. Very good. I don't want to show completed ones. I want to show ones that I've... I need to do. But that V means that I've completed the particular part. Sweet. So that's cool. We got that one down, taken care of. The friend in need quest. That is the end of the map over there. Time to go check over here. The corpses were gnawed to the bone by ghouls, whose teeth were likely the cause of death. Poor souls. I use the trunk to jump across the gap. That'll take me down. This way, which, that's, ah, that's where I messed up that quest. Yeah, I feel bad about that one, because I didn't want them to kill it, because I love Desna as a goddess, and I love, um, the Desnans that serve it, serve her. Because Desna's one of the few goddesses that survived to the age of, uh, Starfinder, and that's really cool. I think she's my favorite of the deities in Galarian settings, is Desna. I love the butterfly symbols. I've actually been tempted to get her uh, butterfly with like the moon and stars and sun um, tattooed at some point. I'm trying to remember where the person told me. That'll also get me over there. Uh, where the person told me to go to get into the cellar. Because I can't find it where I'm at right now. Head up this way, it'll probably lead me out of the map. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do the area exit. Sela! During the game, you'll meet friendly clerics who can heal or resurrect your companions for a fee. I did have a, I did play a priest, a cleric once. Not a priest, a cleric. Okay, now there's no quest showing there. Very nice. Um, I did meet a, I did play a cleric that did charge for some healing. But that's because she was she wasn't a god fearing cleric. She didn't she was an atheist to be honest, and she there it is. That's the party house. That's where I need to go. Um, one hour, sure. Let's go. Ow, we didn't make it. Um, she was a doctor, and she she was lawful good to the Hippocratic oath, and so she would she did no harm at all. She would not harm anything, even enemies. And she would... Oh, crap. Big fly again. Oh, big fly and really big spider. Crap, and it's right by me, too. Um, how do I shift? 
It'll give me the option to shift. There's probably a way to do it, but I don't know. Um, it is currently Camellia's. They get two big spiders. Um, I'll have Camellia go straight for it. Is it a swift action for this? Spirit weapon enchant. Yes. So activate that and then go hit the spider. Only two damage. Crap. Um, I'll have Sela start attacking the fly. Sela does a lot more damage. Fly's turn. Fly should be provoked by Sela, I believe. Oh, no, wait, no, it's still Sela's. I keep forgetting I have to click end turn. Land turn and shoot the spider twice. With your bonuses for the close range. Um, crap. Crap. Nothing I do will keep me from getting provoked, so I might as well shoot. Oh, I didn't provoke. Weird. Very weird. Um, giant spider has more hit points. I feel Sela's better off over there, so... Nice, because Sela's also got a high AC. Ember, fire. Crap. Uh, spider's turn? Nope, Camellia's turn. Why she, oh yeah, she, I keep saying, why is she doing less damage? It's because she's strength drained, duh. Um, but yeah, my cleric was uh, a doctor. And she was, every, uh, the money she was saving up, this was in a, um, oh, what's the name of it? The very first Pathfinder campaign. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Um, it's in Sandpoint. Why am I playing? Rise of the Rune Lords, obviously. Um, it was in Rise of the Rune Lords, and she was trying to build the first hospital of uh, Sandpoint. Like, the an actual full hospital for Sandpoint. I need her to heal, so. Uh, she's got some Cure Light Wounds. I want her to do that on me. Did she do it? She cast Cure Light Wounds, and then... Heal me, please. Heal me, please. Ninio has cast the Cantrip. Nenio, auto casting. Did I have her set for auto casting? Probably did. I probably set her up for auto casting at some point. But no, I, I, she cast it and she didn't walk it over to me yet. That's weird. That's weird. Oh well. I gotta, I gotta keep in mind that until she gets her strength back, she's gonna be doing a lot less damage. So Sela, boom! That she batted that fly out of there. And then I'm gonna have you move over to this one. Um. Oh yeah, I gotta remember about flanking too. Flanking will be a lot more easy when I have it in turn-based mode. Um, but yeah, my doctor character, like she casts cure Light wounds. Let's see, where's she at? Oh, she used it on herself. No. Stop, please. I swear, I would like you to stop. So how do I, how do I not click you anymore? I want to click everybody. There we go. Okay. No! What the? What? Why? What's going on? What is going on? Why is she spent wasting all her spells the moment I click on her? What do I do here? Now she's gonna go click me. I'm gonna have to rest after this because look at this. She's stuck using only her spells. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. She won't stop. Like, now she's gonna go use it on her, see? What's going on? Did I break the game? You know what? I'm gonna rest. <laughs> you guys need to rest. Clearly, Ember's losing her mind. Alright, begin resting. Clearly, she has a free spell slot. Crap, I forgot to use it. Clearly, Ember's not okay, so she needs to rest probably even more than Camellia does. Paper was white, and then you turned it blue without even... even though you dipped it and whatever. Girl, this is called my experiment to determine the acidity of demon blood. I can explain the basis of the experiment. First, we take a perfectly ordinary piece of paper. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Oh, she got her strength back. Good. Good. Um, we failed to weaken the impact of the corruption, though, unfortunately. So there is that. All right. Um, no loot from any of these bodies, so I don't know why she's deciding to continuously heal everybody, because I don't want her to do that. So if I click on me now, will she do it again? Yes! She why? Yes. You! Cut it out! No more of that! Knock it off! I swear! 
Leave me alone. So she's doing it. But she's not doing anything. Like, I think she's broken. I think we broke Ember. Because she's not doing anything. None of her spells are being wasted. She's just derping out. Why is there a diamond over her head? How do I get rid of that? How do I get rid of the diamond over her head? Because I don't want to be selected onto her. I want to be selected onto somebody else. What did I do to the game? Oh, well, I'll try and figure it out before I record the next episode. But thank you all for watching. I'm actually going to probably stick to this turn-based system now because I feel way more confident and able to control the system of combat and everything. Uh, so thank you for the input and the comments that you've given me. That's been very helpful. Appreciate that. And if you have any more advice, I do urge you to keep commenting and let me know. Um... I'm still figuring this game out uh, because I haven't been playing it on my own. The only time I've played it is for this recording, so I'm still trying to figure everything out. Um, point blank shot. Now, now. How do I get? Is there something I can do here? Can I get rid of it? And because it seems like that's what she keeps trying to do onto everybody. But I don't know. She's she's stuck for some reason. I'm gonna try. Okay. And now she does it still, even though she's not clicked. I don't know. I don't know. But I'll figure it out. Thank you all for being here. Until next time, everybody. Love and hugs to all you lovely little bugs. And peace out. <laughs>